Name your position, sir. Dave Corson. Somebody last name, Dave? C-O-R-S-O-N. And you're with? Spring Fire Department. Dave, when you arrived, what uh, what did you find when you pulled up? I found heavy smoke conditions from the rear of the residence and the uh, homeowners uh, uh, said that they had a dog still in the residence. Uh, I confirmed with the uh, comm center that we did have a working house fire. And uh, tell me a little bit about the, the dog. You guys were able to get the dog out? Yes, the dog, the dog was retrieved from the residence and uh, EMS worked on uh, reviving the dog. And uh, as far as I know, the dog's up and running around at this time. Okay. Any injuries to firemen? Uh, we did have one firefighter. I believe he twisted his ankle uh, in the backyard, and I believe he's going to be fine. Any uh, difficulties in fighting the fire? Uh, no, no real difficulties. Um, and uh, good water supply. Yeah, fine. Good, good water supply was established immediately. Yeah. Approximately, how many uh, firemen were? Did you have respond uh, today? Spring was assisted by Ponderosa and Northeast. Uh, we had approximately 40 firefighters on scene. Any idea, I know it's early stages, any idea of the possible cause or where no, it may have started? No, not at this time. Under investigation. That's under investigation. Harris County Fire Marshal's Office will be on scene assisting with the investigation, or leading with the investigation. Okay. Any other comments you'd like to answer? No, sir. Okay. Name and position one more time. Dave Corson. I'm a firefighter at Station 74 in Springs. We're doing an update on the injury status. Tell me a little bit about, give me an update on the injury status, sir. Uh, we had two firefighters injured on the scene, both with lower extremity injuries, one with an ankle injury and uh, one with a, uh, a knee injury, possible knee injury, not quite sure the extent of that, but both have been transported to Houston Northwest Medical Center. And they're both in good condition? They're both in stable condition, they're both in fairly good condition. Okay. And the, they sustained his injuries during the uh, attack on the fire? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, one was during the uh, late stages of attack on the fire, and the other was during overhaul. Very good. What's your name, sir? My name is Ray Gutierrez. Spell your last name, Ray? Uh, G-U-T-I-E-R-R-E-Z. -E -E and you're the homeowner? Yes, sir. What happened? I mean, you came home and found. Tell me. Tell me. No, I, I, I've been home all day long, and uh, I got a, uh, I got a little bit of Ill illness. So I was in there cooking me some uh, breakfast, and I uh, smelled something electrical. So I thought it was the microwave. Well, opened the microwave up, and there was no smoke. So I looked towards the hallway, and that's when I saw smoke. So I made my way towards the back bedroom and and the bathroom there, and uh, that's when I noticed a real large cloud of smoke coming out. So I immediately went out and opened the doors up and let my dog out and went next door to the neighbors. By the time I made it back to the house, it was already fully smoked. But uh, the, my initial first smell was electrical. And so that's why I thought it was a microwave. And, and it, like I said, it uh, it been apparently brewing back there for a little while because it, it started so quick. You know, but uh, I, I really don't have any idea. My wife, a, a couple of weeks back, said the, the, the power outlet right by her closet door was giving her problems. And it blew her it blew her hair dryer up. The sparks sparks came shooting out of the hair dryer. So uh, I don't know if that has something probably. to do with it or what, but I mean it, it definitely came from the bathroom right there. So probably electrical. So so you went you left out to go next door to call nine one one. Yes sir, I couldn't find my phone, so I went into my neighbor Susan's house next door to my left and, and I rang her doorbell and no response right away, so I went next door to my uh, neighbor George's house and he was outside and he was able to get nine one one. The firefighters were excellent. They 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 were quick. I mean, uh, this could have been a lot worse than what it was. Uh, I'm, I, I hate that a couple of them got hurt today, uh, but they did an excellent job. I couldn't ask for no better. Tell me about your dog. My dog Duke. Oh, they saved Duke. They, uh, my dog Duke ran back in the house after me. After letting him out, uh, he went back in after me, and I, and I thought initially he had made it out to the woods back here, but uh, uh, we couldn't find him. Uh, Twenty minutes after the fire was already brewing, uh, the, the firefighters came out with him in his cage, uh -huh. so they saved him. That's that's a plus because I, I you know I've had the dog for a long time. Okay. Anything else you'd like to? Add? No, sir. Other than thankful, thankful for the firefighters and the quick response of Spring uh, volunteers.
Thank you. 